circle here, uh, we're told that they're on the circle, uh, these are points on the outside of the circle, we're told this is a tangent, we're given ADE is 54, so let's put that on our diagram, we're given that that whole angle is 54 degrees, and ABC, which is up here, A to the ABC, is 114 degrees, let's add that onto our diagram here. We want to work out the sinus angle CAD, so we want this angle here. And we must give a reason for each stage we've been working. Well, there were a couple of ways to get that. Okay, there were a couple of things to do. Um, there's a couple of ways you can go about it, as long as each way you explain what you do in each step, it doesn't matter. I still get that, so I've done it one way, but I'll mention this as a, at least one other way you can go. So I started by working out by angle ADC. So I start working out this angle here. And that was. 66 degrees. Now the reason I know that is because the opposite angles angles in a cyclic quadrilateral uh, are 180 degrees. So we know that this and this, we know it's a cyclic because it tells us A, B, C, and D are points on the circle. So we've used that piece of information, we've used these two bits of information, and we haven't used this tangent. So we can use that in a step with probably, remember that in maths questions there's no superfluous or no extra information um, they never give you that you don't really need. So in this case, or very rarely, so we haven't used that, so we can use that in a sec. So what I worked out next was I expected that these three make a straight line because this is a tangent so I've started to use this and I work out that uh, CDF was 180 minus 66 minus 54 which comes out as exactly 60 degrees and the reason I knew that and you've got to write this down as well angles on a straight line uh, equal 180, we know that. So I know that this here is 60 degrees. So I've used this as a straight line, but not used as a tangent. Okay, so what I've spotted as well is that I've got my answer by doing that. I've got this chord here between C and D, this chord meets this tangent. And where this angle of this chord on the other side, that's the angle we want. So therefore I know that C A D is equal to 60 degrees. And the reason for that is simply you can just say the alternate segment theorem. So this angle here is equal to this angle here, so that's 60 degrees, using the alternate segment theorem. So therefore, angle C A B is 60 degrees, as, uh, as we have shown. Now, I mentioned there's another way. You could kind of use that same idea, but you could have, instead of working out this 60, you could have worked out that this 54, the alternate segment of this, so you see this chord here between A and B, and this bit of the tangent here means that this here is 54. So instead of using this straight line bit here, you could use the 66 and the 54, add them up and take it from 180 and you can see you've got a triangle in there and you're still going to get the 60 degrees. So it works out the same, but it's just, just a different route to it.